Let's go. I got that juice. juice. No AP. She got that juice. That's right. I got your juicy entertainment news for Tuesday. Stevie J has filed for spousal support from Faith Evans after filing for divorce early November. He's also asking to be absolved from making continuous monthly payments to Faith and to also pay for her to pay his legal fees. Now, you know, their relationship has been extremely tumultuous and very public since they got married in 2018. He filed for divorce at the beginning of November. And then on November 15th, Faith Evan posted an Instagram video of the two of them doing cartwheels on the beach, um, which kind of had us all a little confused with the caption, get us free, bruh. Late last month, then Stevie J apologized after a video surfaced of him publicly humiliating her and accusing her of cheating, which he later retracted. Um, Now, Faith has responded to Stevie J and she said she's not paying spousal report and has asked that she gets to keep all property acquired prior to the marriage by gift, inheritance or devise or um, and also any property that came in or any funds after the date of separation. Now, this could get pretty messy. If they don't have a prenup, any income earned during the marriage prior to their date of separation is considered community property. And in California, regardless of what happened in the relationship, it's considered a no-fault state. So that means all the money earned during that period of time will be split 50-50 by the parties. Serena Williams is writing a children's book called The Adventures of Quay Quay about her daughter, Olympia's Um, In 2018, Serena and her husband created an Instagram page for the doll, which has over 350,000 followers. And the book celebrates using the imagination and the beauty of friendship. It also focuses on the doll teaching a little girl while it's important for her to believe in herself. And Serena dedicated the book to all the little girls and said, let this book be a constant reminder that you can do anything you put your mind to. Imagine it, believe it, and do it. It comes out in September of next year. Are you ready for this? Netflix announced the Netflix is a joke comedy festival that will take place from April 29th to the 8th of May next year in some of Los Angeles' most acclaimed venues and will feature over 100 live shows with the biggest names in comedy. It's being called the biggest comedy event in history. Probably. Some of the performances will be filmed and streamed on Netflix at a later date. Um, but some are going to be exclusive with in-person audience. And it's been yet to been revealed which ones will be streamed and which ones will only be available live. But pre-sale tickets go on sale Friday. And some of the biggest names are headlining it. Dave Chappelle, Amy Schumer, Tina Fey, Jerry Seinfeld, David Letterman, Chris Rock, Ali Wong, Gabrielle Iglesias, Pete Davidson, Seth Rogen, Kevin Hart, Amy Poehler, um, Aziz uh, Ansari, Chelsea Handler, Ken Jong, Conan O'Brien, and also Ellen DeGeneres, rather. So I just called off probably almost every single big name in comedy. And you can find out more by visiting Netflix is a joke fest. Sorry, Netflix is a joke fest.com. Drake has decided he is withdrawing his two Grammy nominations. He was nominated for Best Rap Album and Best Rap Performance. And you know, Drake has expressed frustrations with the Grammys in the past. Last year, after the weekend, didn't get any Grammy nominations. He went on social media and said, I think we should stop allowing ourselves to be shocked every year by the disconnect between impactful music and these awards and just accept that was once that what was once the highest form of recognition may no longer matter to the artist that exist now and the ones that come after. He said, uh, the Grammys are like a relative that you keep expecting to fix, but they just won't change their ways. And that's the reason why he pulled out. And that is your juicy entertainment news for Tuesday. Lock it in again tomorrow right here on the all-new KISS 96.